I'm so sorry for the delay. Um, we are not yet behind the clock, though. Shall we? You're sorry? Sorry? Sorry will not take back the hands of time. This will be the last time you're going to waste my time. Get yourself out of this clothes we're not going anywhere. Alex, you had to do this to me. Oh yes, I had to. I spent time trying to look for this occasion. Are you do this to me? We still have 15 minutes before time. I don't care. Get yourself out of this clothes. We go no. Who's this pretty woman wearing a very long face? What's going on, baby? Come on. What is it? What is it? Nah. Alex, you helped me yesterday. What did I do? Hmm? Really? Yes, baby. What did I do? Alex, you should have said you weren't going anywhere anymore. It's of what you did. I didn't do anything wrong now. I just helped you wipe off the makeup that you took all day to make. You know, 
you kept me waiting for you because of the lousy makeup. It wasn't right. Wait, 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 Alex. You don't see anything wrong with what you did? No, baby, no, nothing. Oh, I God. actually did you a favor. You were going to wipe your face anyway, so I just thought I just, you know, helped you. I helped you out. Is that why you're... Alex, you stop help, it! Help you out. You... <laughs> Good night, sir. Yes. Uh, there's a lady here for the job. Say the agency center. Oh, okay. Um, collect her CV. Okay, sir. Keep it with you. I'll look at it later. And tell her to come back on Monday. Okay, sir. Mm? Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, baby. Wait, what? I just decided to help you out. I'm doing nothing. I'm tired. I need to do something. How can you say you're doing nothing? You're doing something. And what am I doing? You're doing me, baby. <gasps> You're taking care of me. Come on, you're just so naughty. You're taking care of my needs. You know what I'm saying? My needs. Babe, I'm serious here. My Stop. needs. Uh, like you know, you're not got... Let's go upstairs. <laughs> Baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> the missus. Hey, wifey of life. Uh -uh. Here. This Sorry. one, you're the one serving me. Where are all your domestic stuff? <sighs> My dear. My girl resigned. Yeah. She had to relocate to go be with the father of her child. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're employing though. Alex won't let me do anything. Girl, you are very lucky. Like, see the way you're glowing. Please, I'm and it's like your butt is even getting bigger. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. So I mean my butt. <laughs> Boy, it's a good thing. Anyways, you know. I'm happy you're here because I've been so bored. Bored? Yeah. What do you mean by that now? You have everything at your disposal. Mm. If you're that bored, you can go to the pool to swim. Or perhaps you watch a movie. Or you go out. So go to where exactly? There are plenty of fun things to do outside. You can go shopping. Your husband has the money to maintain that lifestyle. Or oh, better still, just do something fun now. Live the life, babe. Ejo, you understand. It's tiring. I'm tired of staying home. I'm tired of doing nothing. I miss working. You miss working, but you were the one who fits on us. I had to obey my husband. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. You're very lucky you have a husband who does everything for you. Your husband gives you everything you want. And that's the life most of these girls uh, want outside. So please, enjoy yourself. Leave it to the fullest. Oh yeah, I beg. How is work? Just me. Work is boring. <laughs> ah, that office space is not the same. You need to see the new girl they brought in. God, uh, that girl is so boring. For real? Ah, she's like a wannabe. Uh -uh. <laughs> I swear. Oh, she replaced the neck and I left. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where they brought that girl from. I don't even know if she's qualified at all. What like? problem. Is that Alex Atta, the famous host that's bad so many awards? Yes. Sit. 
Uh, how are you? What's your name again? Only. Only Johnson. Of course I can see it here. Huh? I'm just um, making sure. <laughs> you know. Uh, I also see here that you have not done the job of a domestic staff before. Uh, no, sir, but it's safe to say I have experience. I grew up with my aunt, so I'm used to doing all the chores from laundry to cooking to everything, sir. Everything? Yes, sir. I see. Um, you do know that this is a living, a live in kind of job. So you only get Sundays off. Yes, sir. Did you mention that, sir? Why do you want this kind of job? Well, sir, I've been job hunting for a very long time. Jobs are hard to come by and the bills be high. I see. Um, wait, so... Shh! Don't do that. I'm still talking. Shut up. I'm not done talking. All right? Stop it. What African meals can you make? Sir, all African dishes. I can prepare all, sir. All African dishes? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good to know. I mean, I'm big on African cuisines. So, it's good. Um, you... You have impressed me so far. You know, uh, quite impressive. I guess that is why the agency decided to send you over to me. Uh, but there's one more thing. I'm sure that you know who I am. Yes, um, <laughs> so you'd also agree with me that this is not your regular job. Hmm? Yes, sir. You are working for a public figure. So your discretion becomes an important requisite for this job. Do you understand? Yes, sir. That it means that you would have to mind the business that minds you. What that means in simple terms is that you'd have to shut up. Whatever happens in this house stays in this house. You have a lot of all these hungry blogs everywhere looking for gists eh? the media is constantly hungry for information you know? especially when it concerns a public figure like me you are not going to be an agent of doom in my house whatever happens here stays here only if you flout my orders i am going to ensure that you face the consequences of your actions that's very nice and clear, right? Yes, sir. You can do that. Yes, you have the job. You start in two days. Eh? Thank you so much. Contain your excitement and get yourself together. <laughs> You're welcome. You said you wanted to talk about something. Yes. Okay, I'm listening. Alex. I don't like the way she respects me most times. Hmm? Even in public. How? You know, it's demeaning. If you shut me up that way in the presence of our helper trying to employ, 
Like, how do you think she would respect me? Oh, but she disrespected me first. I'll tell you how. You spoke without letting me finish. You disrespected me first. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. I didn't know I was supposed to seek for your permission before asking the new employee questions. Alex, I'm your wife, your partner. Amanda, it's not about permission. It's about decorum. You were supposed to allow me to finish talking before you talk, if you had anything sensible to say. Did you ask me? Hmm? Did you ask for my opinion? You just gave her the job whether I approved or not. Alex. <sighs> Amanda, stop watching telenovelas. Stop spending time on the internet and uh, trying to mimic what happens in the Western world. We're Africans. I am the one wearing the pants in this house. I am the man of this house. I do not need your approval to employ anyone. Okay? What am I going to be doing with your approval? And you wanted to speak, what would you have possibly come up with? Some pretty less relevant question. <laughs> Sorry. Is this what you wanted to talk about? I thought you had something important to talk about. Really? And I had to. You know what? Never mind. It's pointless. <sighs> Our next guest is a man known for many roles in the solo entertainment and business sectors. With a career spanning over 21 years, he continues to wow his audiences on and off the screens. Fatal Seduction, which premiered on Netflix. Yeah. This is your room. Thank you, Ma. Madam Amanda is okay. Yes, ma'am. Um, please. This is your uniform. My husband prefers you wearing your uniform. Okay? Mm -hmm. And that is the timetable. It contains our likes, dislikes, and allergies. All right, ma. Thank you, ma. Thank you, Madam Amanda. You can rest for today. Thank you, ma. Thank you so much, ma. Oh my God. She's even more beautiful in person. Hey, baby. It's not even my birthday yet. We don't have to wait for our birthdays to celebrate love, baby. Ah. Just look at it. You love it, right? Oh my God, this is beautiful. I knew you would love it. Because I could you. read your mind. <laughs> Thank you, my love. Thank you so she much. She loves it. And you sure would. Huh? I know my woman. <laughs> you know, the thing is, love is a daily responsibility. You don't have to wait till it's your partner's birthday. Oh, she's so lucky. They are my room models. I love this woman like no man business. <laughs> <laughs> I love you more, baby. I love you. I think we should do a giveaway. Oh, right? yes. So yes. we're going to be having a giveaway. The Ataz will be giving something beautiful away. So keep your eyes on this page. But keep liking and sharing this video, okay? You know, tag this video. Mm -hmm. Couple goals by their tires. See you soon. That's it. <laughs> um. Thank you. If all of that is not here, you have lost your job. You have I, that understanding. I, I record, sir. No, I'm, I'm just saying that if it's not here, 
you, you have lost your job. The video is there, sir. All right, good. Yeah. You can go out. Baby, what's up? Alex, why do you always have to make a public display of whatever you're gifting me? Why? Why not, baby? I want the world to see how I love you. Right? Remember, that's what our brand represents. Love. Against all odds, baby. Love. And I love you. Okay? okay? I have to show them how to treat your special one. Come on, baby. How did yeah. your day go? Mm, fine. Don't forget that's what our page is about. It's about love, 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 love. I went to the petrol station to see how things are going. And trust me, business is looking good. Okay. And how about you? How was your day? Writing as usual. Even though there's no one to read. What are you talking about? Sweetie, open it up. Hmm? Come on, come on. Let me see. What have you written? Come on. All right, let's see. What do we have here? <laughs> I hope you like it. Put in your password, let's see. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if your creative juice is running. Oh, God. <laughs> this is good. Really? Yeah, I'm impressed. <laughs> uh uh. <laughs> hey. I see another William Shakespeare emerging. <laughs> mm, come on, baby. This is this is really nice. Thank you. And it's mature too, you know. Thank you. Very poetic right now. <laughs> baby, stop. Thank uh, you. This Thanks, is boss. Really nice. Thanks, boss. tell you you see our recent post i can tell you has the highest number of likes comments and shares you need to see what's going on here <laughs> this is what's going on here the comments are hilarious most of them are heartwarming i tell you baby people love us you know people love us for real i tell you what let's see what this person said here this See, they are tars. My definition of a perfect and successful marriage. I love it. I love it. Oh my goodness. That's nice. Yeah, it's really nice. You know, a lot of people look up to us, you know. People look up to us, baby. Huh? People look up to us. I mean, just look at the shares, the likes, the comments, everything. It's just so heartwarming. Yes, I forgot to tell you. A magazine called said they'd like to have um, an interview with us. Interesting. Mm -hmm. When? I'll call them when I'm able to fix a date. Once I fix a date, I would um, call them to let them know when we're coming over. I just feel so blessed, you know. Our marriage is working, career going so well, and I have been blessed to have you. I love you, baby, so much. <laughs> Thank you. 
Ah, Oye. Good morning, sir. How are you? Very well, sir. Good. Uh, you would have to step aside, okay? I I want to make breakfast for my wife. Oh, so I can't prepare it while you just nah, nah, serve nah, nah, nah. her. Let me have the apron. Come on. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. I, I see. will assist you there, sir. <laughs> I just might not need your help. <laughs> All right, sir. All right, let's get to just it. Your marriage is sweet. Oh, it's good to marry a good partner. Yeah. Let me have the Irish potatoes. All right, sir. Or do we have any left? Um. Better still, let me have a plantain. Okay, sir. Okay, I see we we'll have the pepper and tomatoes here already. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That's okay. breakfast mm. Mm? are you okay what you're burning up this is serious i am happy oh this is not good sorry baby you know how about you try to eat something and then Get into the bathroom and get into some easy clothes. Let me take you to the, to the doctor. No, no, baby. I don't think it's that serious. It might be. You never know. I just want you to get well, you know? <sighs> Come on, baby, please. <laughs> no, you're not. Mm. Hmm? So that made you. Huh? <laughs> Go on. You like him? Yeah. Sorry, baby. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. Ah, you're running temperature. Sorry. It's not my event you're ready for. Where are you going? Looking like that, without makeup on your face. Oh, Alex, I'd rather not waste your time. You know I'm not fast with this makeup tint. And besides, you didn't inform me earlier about the event, so please, let's go. So you want to go with me, barefaced, to an event that promises to house one of the most prominent individuals in this town looking like this madam stop joking go upstairs and put makeup on that dry face alex i have a light makeup on i use brown powder please i'm ready let's go i want to ask you do you think you look good like this i'm asking you you think you look good like this huh? Alex, I, I don't think I necessarily need makeup to look beautiful. Oh, yes, you do. To look as elegant as I want you to look, you would have to put makeup on that dry face. Elegant women wear makeup. Okay? So, and I don't understand why we're exchanging saliva here. You know, I see you wear makeup when you want to go out with your girls to go and gossip how your husband treats you and what your husband do for you and what your husband don't do for you. Aimless waka, aimless talk. Now I'm taking you to somewhere, somewhere nice somewhere where you're actually going to meet proper human beings i don't want to wear makeup alex i'm ready no you're not i think i'm fine this way you know what i'm going Please, to do i'm going to I... oh, you... come here yeah quickly take your madam to her room and then help her put makeup on her face alex are you serious yes i am serious right now since you cannot do makeup if you won't do it i'm going to get your fellow woman to do it 
Put makeup on your face. You look like someone who woke up dry, like you're, you're dry. You need to see your face like you're dry, like, you know, like you're an ambassador for Hamatan. You're dry. You look very dry, very, very dry. Go upstairs, put makeup on your face and then put lip gloss on your lip. It, it's, it's breaking. If you won't do it, I'll get your fellow woman to do it. I don't understand. Look at someone who woke up somewhere in Joss. Look like Hamatan itself. Put makeup on your face and do it quick now. We're running late. I'm ready. You have 10 minutes. And your time starts now. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 4. Come on, follow me looking like somebody that woke up in Hamatan. you to get me something cold to drink, eh? Okay, While I wait for that one to finish up their sluggishness. Okay, sir. Something cold. Put a smile on your face, would you? Amanda, put a damn smile on your face. How hard can that be? How many times have I told you that I don't want my wife frowning like some tired, wrinkled old woman? How many times? Just put a smile on your face. People smile when they are happy. What, you're not happy? No. Why? Alex, are you serious? Yes. Why do you always pretend like you don't know what you're doing? Because I don't know what you're talking about. Look at the way you treated me. You have no respect for me as your wife. Oh, I see. I see. You want to go to that event with me? And then the media can feel this tension. And then people will begin to ask me questions. Are you trying to set me up? Alex, that shouldn't be the question. You should be concerned about the reason for my unhappiness. Not thinking about what people will say or do. Like, I don't really get you. You know what? I don't have the time for your theatrics today. Too much drama. Not for me. Get out. Get a cab home. <sighs> Alex. You're choking, right? Get out and catch a cab. Go back home. Next time when you're, you're in a good mood to go out with your husband, we'll go out together. Alex, it's fine. I'll, let's just go. No, 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 no. You yes, are well. not going to. No, you're not going you're not going with me, all right? You're not going... What, you want to go there, this way? 
and then what the media will see through you and then never have oh couple goes they are tars okay there's a storm in their marriage you know all sorts of stupid captions with our pages on on blogs and national newspapers that's what you want no that's not what i want okay you're going to sit at home alex Next. i wear a smile people see through fake smiles but i'm done with my time get out please what you're not serious i am serious all right people can see through fake smiles get out stop wasting my time out i'm trying to have a civilized conversation with you with you uh, 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 and you're acting funny really What's even wrong with you? They say love is kind. Love this did not just happen. Why well, you slammed the door in my face? <laughs> it's alright. No problem. Get something. What happened again? Baby, baby, you locked the door? Yes. And that's for slamming the door in my face and getting angry unnecessarily. You're going to sleep out of this room tonight. Baby, I know you're joking, right? Please, please, baby, just open the door. I want to go to bed, please. You know, you, you, you ruined my night. You ruined my evening. I had to make up lies to cover up for your absence. Every other person was asking me, oh, why didn't you come for the event? Why did you not come for the event? You, you, you messed my evening up and you think, oh, come on, you're going to sleep out of this room tonight. Alex, you're blaming me? Alex, you asked me to return. Baby, I'm supposed to be upset with you. You, you didn't let me attend an event I was already prepared for. Please, just open up for me. Oh no, you chose to be dramatic, my dear. You love drama. My love, please. Baby, you disrespected me. You disrespected me in front of the maid. That's not fair. And you don't even see anything in that, please. You see, what irks me the most about you is how you like to play victim. Yeah. So now you think you're the victim? What exactly did I do? That I asked you to run upstairs, touch up your face, so that you can look like a human being. And then you got upset. You're sleeping out tonight. Is this the same marriage I've been admiring all this time? This is how he treats his wife? Baby, you're locking me out of our matrimonial bed. Baby, okay, I'm sorry, please, just open the door, please. I'm sorry, please. My love, please, you know I love you. Please, Alex, please don't do this to me. 
baby, please. I don't want to sleep out without you, please. My love. <sighs> Yes, ma. Ma, do you need me to do anything for you? Yeah. Okay, ma. How are you? Leave me. Hmm? Can't be frowning first thing in the morning. Now, how was your night? Huh? Alex. Yes, baby. Are you serious? Yeah. You locked me out to sleep on the couch and you're asking me how my night went? Oh, no. You chose to sleep on the couch. The help could have just, you know, fixed the guest room for you, but you chose the couch. But, I, wait, but it's a good couch. Though. Just. How are you today? Mm. Hmm? Alex, that's unfair. You hurt me and still punish me. Really? How? You slammed the door in my face because I asked you to put up a cheerful face because we're going to meet some important people. You decided to sulk and then I told you that you are not going to carry on going out. Hey, you know, you said, get on the card. You know, you got dramatic as usual. You overreacted. That's not my fault, you know. So that's for, you know, disrespecting your husband. Yeah. Alex, you're supposed to be apologizing to me the way you spoke to me. And you're angry about how your words made me feel? You know what I don't understand is why you want to play the victim right now. Because really, I am the victim. I am the one who was disrespected. You know what? Let's not spend the entire day, you know, arguing about this. It's a brand new day, baby. Let's not start our day like this. Good morning, sir. Good morning, ma. Breakfast is ready. Oh, you done, Ola. You are very efficient. Breakfast already. I like it. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, Thank we'll you, sir. Be there. Good heart. Let's do breakfast. Babe. Good heart. I'm not hungry. I know you have to be hungry. Now, come on. Yeah, uh, slow down. You know what the artisans say? Uh, that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Let's go to the dining, baby. Come Leave on. me alone. You want to go and brush? I can wait. Baby. What have I done now? Are you being serious? He did that to you. But why would you continue letting this man treat you like this now? This is wrong now. Haba. Ejo, I don't even know. I'm fed up talking to him about it. <sighs> Babe, I'm sure you didn't make a mistake when picking your life partner. Because if you guys had dated for a little bit longer, maybe you'd have seen the signs. Or would you have still gone up with the marriage?
Alex has his flaws. But he also has his good sides. So you should now continue to be tolerate being disrespected. <laughs> and the annoying thing is that he doesn't even see anything wrong in what he's doing. That's the problem. I just wish he would just see how disrespectful he has been and just change. That's all I want. <laughs> change. <laughs> Babe, the truth is, a man who doesn't see any wrong in what he's doing would never change. Babe. <sighs> You can either live in pain and still be in this marriage, or you walk out and end this. Everyone deserves happiness. I would not stay with a guy who does not regard me. Ejura, are you suggesting a divorce? No, no, no. Ejura, it hasn't gotten to that, okay? Listen, we haven't even celebrated our first anniversary yet. But you are in pain. You are miserable. Everyone deserves to be happy. So do you. <laughs> I would never trade my happiness for anything. I know. I love Alex. I love Alex so much too. To divorce him because of his imperfections, no. <laughs> so maybe you should stop complaining and then leave in the marriage. Stay. At least he is not beating you. Yes, yeah, see, you still look very pretty. He's not hitting you. <laughs> anyway, it's the millions of followers you have on social media who are trying so hard to be like you guys, thinking you have the perfect marriage that actually pity. <laughs> you stop. It's not funny. You are changing it for me. Oh yeah, now go and change it for the man now. Go. It's me now. You are shining, my friend. Please stop crying. At least see your face is still fine. Oh, you're so careful, you're just... Oh mad. <laughs> <laughs> just, just please go away. <laughs> Hey. Good evening. Looking for someone. Oh, I didn't know to go to new stuff. Uh, my name is David and I'm Alexis' brother. Oh, well, please, <laughs> come here. New stuff, right? Hey! Oh, Amanda! Dave. Hey, hey, hey! Look at Good you! Good to see you! Good to see you too! Wow! I actually thought you were arriving late today. Uh, yes, um, you know. I was lucky with an early flight. Hmm. <laughs> wow, you look gorgeous. <laughs> now I can tell that my brother is taking good care of you. He's doing an amazing job. Of course, what do I expect? He's your brother. <laughs> oh, um, sorry. Oye, yes, please help me take his bag upstairs to the guest room, okay? This is Alex's brother, and he'll be here with us for some time. Please study up the room for me. Okay, ma'am. Thank you so yes, much. It's good to see you. Good to see you too. I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were going to yeah. come early. I've asked that to fix the room for you. I'm sorry. Oh, it's fine. I understand. <laughs> I got you earlier than expected. So, hmm. trust me, I miss this house. <sighs> I miss this house. And miss you. Look at you, Dave. Damn. You look good. Oh, I look good? Yeah, and I'm so happy good. to have you here, you know. <laughs> but I miss your food. I do, I do. Are you sure? Do you? Do you <laughs> so what did you bring from me, please? I brought you something special. It's fine. You don't seem to be in a very good mood. Can you just smell so everything okay? Already. I'm okay, sir. David, it's fine, please.
your Igbo, right? Your name, Onyi. That stands for Onyi, right? No, it's Onyi. Onyi knows I'm Ibirasa. Oh, Onyi knows Wow, what a beautiful name. <laughs> and what does it mean? Peace. Peace. You are bringing a lot of peace to this house then. How long have you been working here? Three months, sir. Wow. Three months. Come on, I said you should do away with the title, please. Hello? What do you want? What is wrong with you? Okay? What the hell is wrong with you? I ask you not to call this number again. Have you time? No, 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 don't, don't you say that, okay? Don't call this number again. If you call this number again, you know what? I'm just gonna block your contact. Of course, as expected. Rude and disrespectful, just like his brother. They understand all these things. Excuse me, sir. Just troubles and troubles and you understand. I'm done, sir. Do you need me to do something else for you? No. This one is definitely another character. someone who's done so well as a host of the Oswald Valley show and plus making hey, multiple money. Let me have that. Why? 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 Why do you want to do that? Like you're going to do a better job than she would? Come on, baby. I want to serve you. I know one asked you. Put your hand down. Put your hand down. Would you do your job? What's your problem? Let me have it. You were saying? Yeah. <laughs> I, was just, I was just talking about how much you are you're earning. <laughs> the host with the most. I know. <laughs> I have earned it. Excuse me. You know? Boy, your food is delicious. Oh. Say Thank that you, one sir. more time, brother. Say that one more time. She is a fantastic, she's an excellent cook. Have you tried her stew? No. Boy! The stew is spicy, it's tasty, it's everything. The stew is giving. You know, unlike the last girl I had, her stew was terrible, just like Amanda's stew. Very tasteless and dry. You know? Amanda, darling, I think that you should take some cooking lessons from me. Oh, yeah. It would come in handy. She's a fantastic cook. I mean, just look at this. It's nice. Lovely. <sighs> what is it? Why are you leaving? I lost my appetite. Why? Bro, come on. Why is she leaving? Are you really acting why she's leaving? Yeah. Like, why do you talk to her like that? I mean, I'm even surprised you still talk to your wife like this. 
like comparing her like cooking to that of the maid. Mm. It's wrong. Mm -mm. Okay? You can say that to a face. No, there no basis for comparison. I did not compare. Her meal is terrible. They're not on the same level. Are you I was right complimenting now? the maid. You're getting it twisted now. No, I am not getting it twisted. Everything you're saying right now is wrong. It's not wrong. Your wife left offended. What are you talking about now? If I don't tell her, you see, that's that's the problem with the continent, the black continent. Because you people just like to sugarcoat everything. You know, you, you people just think of people's feelings a lot and we're getting things wrong. Jeez. If I don't tell her how I feel about her cooking, how is she going to improve? Brother, brother, come on. This is something you're supposed to call her, you know, go to the room, call her, tell her in private. What, Am I telling but, the but this is private. We are family. No, we are family. You are family. Come no, no, no. Don't, 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 don't say we are family. Like, this is something you're supposed to tell her in private. Okay, what difference would it make? What What have I done wrong? I need to understand. Listen, you, you, you need to put her feelings aside and consider my taste board. Like, I, I, I need to eat and I have to enjoy my food. In my own house. No, no, listen. Huh? You, you... Me what? The food is good. Exactly. The food is really, really good. And I'd like for a mother to take cooking lessons from her. What's wrong with can't that now? Stop talking about that. You're being loud. Your voice is loud. She can hear you. No, she can't hear me. Oh, jeez, brother. Come on. No, what have I done wrong now? I feel like sometimes you need to know. Like, You're going to talk me to a statue in my own house. Well, you don't want me to talk. The food. Now I'm going to choke. Kill me, David. Kill me. Jeez, brother. What? Wow. Brother, come on. Oh. Just take it nice and slow. Nice, slow. Uh huh. Mm. <laughs> ah, easy now. Don't you know I love you? I love you with everything, with everything in me, baby. I love you with all my heart. You are my world. You are my everything. Whoosh! Look at you. You begin to ask if I love you. I mean, just look. You know I love you. I love you. I love you, baby. I love you. I love you. I love you, baby. What? Why are you crying? What have I done? 
hurt me. How? Alex, you have no respect or regard for me. You talk to me in a demeaning manner. Oh no. You disrespected me in front of friends, family, colleagues, mm. and made anyone. Alex, did you see their reaction this evening? Yes, I saw it, and there was nothing wrong with their reaction, baby. Come on, you're overreacting. Mm. Alex, I am not overthinking things. Oh, I am not. Okay. You are. Trust me, you are. Really? There's oh, nothing to this. I've done nothing wrong, okay? I don't disrespect you. There is no disrespect when a man talks to his wife. There's nothing wrong. Listen, my father and my mother, you know, they had a very beautiful marriage and everything was just perfect. This is how it was. No, Alex, I am not your mother. Your mother and I are different, okay? I'm not used to be disrespected. Listen, my parents raised my siblings and I up to respect each other. You need to learn to respect me, Alex. You have to respect me. I am your wife. Yes, you're my wife. And I am not one of your siblings. You get it now? I am your husband. Okay, this is how it works. Oh I am in control. I am trying to be in charge. This is how it works. Oh, Alex, I am not disrespecting no, you. No, no, you are blowing things out Alex, of proportion. No, no. You are making... Alex, you have to learn to respect me, okay? I you have to learn to respect me. Alex, ba stop this. Baby, but I respect you. You're just overreacting. You're making a mountain oh, out of a molehill. Oh. Yes. I respect you, baby, because I love you. Right? I respect you. Yeah. Alex. Baby, come on. I respect you. You know, it's it's in your head. It's just in your head. I respect you. That's how it's supposed to be. There's nothing wrong with the way I talk to you. Listen, I'm your husband. You know, sometimes I tell you to just sit and you sit. Sometimes I say, hey, baby, jump. And you go like, hey, how high, baby? That's how it works. <laughs> and now you're crying. Oh, boy. Come on, baby. See what you have done. Just take a look at this. Baby. Come on, baby. She doesn't want you. She says not today. But I want you. Good morning, Madam Amanda. Good morning. Madam Amanda, can I do anything for you? Is this how it is on the inside, where we all see glitters on the outside? I'm going to unfollow that their couple go page. Hey, how are you? Good morning. Good morning. Mm. <laughs> At least you'll just leave me alone. Why are you always frowning? Is everything okay? This is how my face is. <laughs> it's so funny. Do you need anything, sir? Are you this unfriendly? Come on, I'm a simple guy. Can we be friends? 
No, sir. I can't be friends with my boss. Oh, please. Leave that title. Just call me Daniel. Hmm? And I'm not your boss. My brother is. I'd like to get back to work if you don't need me to do anything for you, sir. Very well. Mm -hmm. What is the difference between you two? How some of you think it's okay to disrespect women? All right, guys, thank you all so much for coming here to just show us love, show us love. But I mean, we're, we're barely one year in this marriage thing. Yeah, um, um, thanks for sticking with us. You guys keep us going. Yes, you guys keep us going. I mean, the love and support is just massive. We don't take it for granted at all. Huh? Uh, we, we've been in this marriage thing called, what, 10, 11 months yeah. now? And, and it's guys, been all thanks. love. Yeah. Thanks for sticking with us. You guys keep us going. Yes, you keep us going. I mean, the love has been amazing, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hasn't it been amazing? Mm -hmm. I just can't wait for our first year's anniversary mm -hmm. so that we can just share our love <laughs> with the world. Thank you so much. Uh, hold on. I see a comment here. Someone says, I would like to sponsor an all expense trip uh -huh. to any resort anywhere in the world. What? On your first year's anniversary. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, I really appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you so much. We accept yeah. the offer wholeheartedly. Thank you. Thank you. We are loved, baby. Look at that. Yes. yes. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for, you know, just joining in every time we just pop up here to 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 give tips on how to make your marriage and your relationships work, you yeah. know, to just hear our story. Sometimes it's boring, sometimes it's exciting, you know, <laughs> but you know, just stick with us. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you're, you're always here, you know, just to just get a sense of what our journey has been. Yeah. We love you all so much. And that love we do not take for granted at yeah. all. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, <laughs> and thank you for joining us uh, once again on what we like to call an interesting episode of Couple Goals yes. with the Atars. Thank, thank you. you. Mm. <laughs> we love you all. Mm. Mm. Till we see you again soon. Uh, keep loving. Mm -hmm. Don't give up on love now. Mm -mm. Love is real. Sweet. Look at us. <laughs> love is real. Thank uh, you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Woo! That was excellent, wasn't it? Woo! Yeah. Mm. My goodness. Amanda? Amanda, what is it? I feel like I'm pretending. What? Like this whole thing is a sham. Pretending? How? I don't understand. What are you... What do you mean you're pretending? Alex. What? You go live often, sharing tips for a successful, happy and beautiful marriage. When we don't even have one. How do we not have one? Well, I don't understand. Are you not happy? Because I'm happy. At least I know I make you happy. I pay your bills. I put a good roof over your head. I take care of you. I mean, look at you. You look like a damn slave queen. That's my money now talking. That's me making you happy. I make your life soft, Amanda. I give you everything. Everything but respect. Alex. What is love without respect? What? I don't respect you? You see, you see, you see the problem with, with the internet and all of this nonsense that you watch on TV? You know, all these telenovelas and all the things that you see and all these 
uh, romance novels that you read. It's getting in your head. It's messing your head up. I don't understand what you're talking about. Yes. Alex, really? Oh, yeah, 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 really. Because I d have I ever spoken to you in a manner that is disrespectful? Amanda, the answer is no. <sighs> Oh, stop. What, you want to cry? You're going to smudge your makeup. Think about it. Some lady walked into this house and you collect, what, paid about 60000 now just for one face. Anyway, that's a topic for another day. But you're going to mess that makeup up. Okay? I'm hungry. That was a lot of talking. I'm hungry. Get that wig off your head and make me food. I know you overheard us. I'm sorry, Ma, I didn't mean to eat straw. <sighs> Don't be sorry. You live here. You have eyes and ears. Listen, the way you stare at me most times with pity. You feel sorry for me, don't you? I'm sorry, Ma. Don't be sorry. I look pitiable. Uh, uh. Are you still a fan? Every marriage goes through that rocky ride. We show you guys what we want you to see. We all use filters. Amanda, I'm really sad about how you feel. But I honestly cannot say I understand what you're feeling because 
until one feel what you feel. You can never really understand. I hope things get better for you. Thank you. Amanda. 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 I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Wait, have you been standing for so long? Oh, I... Sorry, I... My mind was just all over the place. How is it going? Are you okay? Sincerely sorry. I'm sorry about how he treats you. Why don't you sit him down and talk to him about it? David. I've tried so many times. I, I just don't know why you took after my father. No. That's exactly how my father used to treat my mother when she was alive. I, I, I hated it. I... But I... I think you need to keep telling him how you feel. For what I know, Alex loves you, and you listen. David, your brother does not see anything wrong with what he does. Fine. Uh, 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 maybe I should talk to him. Should I talk to him for you? No. Don't change anything. Rather you get angry, tell you that I'm a worry actor. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Hey. Um, I'm sorry. It's not like his brother after all.
Check a vacancy. I already contacted the agent last night. Slow down. Slow down. I thought that we we talked about this, right? We've been through this, and I I said no. Alex, I want to start up a business, a boutique. Don't I take care of you? I mean, I am good enough, and I cater for you. I make money. You're taken care of. What do you want outside? Alex, you asked me to quit my job, and I did. It's not all about what you want. What I want counts too. And right now, I am tired of doing nothing. There is nothing wrong with doing nothing. I take care of you, <sighs> all right? I earn enough to take care of you. I cater for you, don't I? Well, it's not all about the money. It's about the respect that comes with not being totally dependent. And what is wrong with you being dependent? Listen, I am your husband, okay? I take care of you. I pay the bills around this house. I make your life soft. I'll do something for myself. Uh, Amanda, hold on a second. Are you going to set up a beauty or you're looking for for the job of an air hostess, because I don't understand why you're dressed this way. I'm talking at your... Amanda, I... Hmm. Good morning. Breakfast is ready. Thank you. So do you want me to serve it here or you come down to the dining? Um, I will be down in a bit. Uh -huh. Is there anything you want me to, to do for you? Not really, not really. Um, okay. Um. So, about the other day, I don't mind being friends with my boss. Sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> friends? Friends, yes. And uh, welcome back from the off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll go now. What just happened? Like, what happened on and off? Oi, um, sorry. Yeah? Oi. Oh, you, you going out? Ah, uh, yeah, to the market. We need to get some for stuff for the house. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, I would like to come with you. It's, oh. it's always, um, work and home for me. It's always boring. So, um, I don't mind if you show me around, you know, the market a bit and... <laughs> sure, sure. Sure? Uh -huh. like, yeah. Sure. <laughs> yes, sure. Okay, um, let me get a keys to the car. Okay. All right. I'll and be waiting. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so let me All just right. get the keys, yeah. Hello. Hi, Hi. Hi. 
I need a very active painkiller, please. We have a lot. You can just pick which one you want. Well, just give me any nice one you think is okay. Okay. Well, be sure you don't want to try this. I didn't ask for your opinion, okay? Let her handle it. Oh, my darling, please be fast. Okay, yeah. Um, what about this one? Oh, perfect. Yes, this is very strong. I'll go with this. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let me just check. How much, how much is it? I'll just check. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's 4,500. Oh, okay, all right. Baby? 4,000. Mm. Yes. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, baby. Thank you. Yeah. Ah! Why did you do that? What? Why did you speak to me in that manner? How? What do you mean how? Why are you feigning ignorance? The way you spoke to me was disrespectful. Amanda. Alex, disrespectful? Because I didn't take your suggestion? No, because you went about it the wrong way. You disrespected me. Really? Come on, Alex, you're taking things too serious, okay? Am I? Wow. Oh, baby, please, let's just go. Let's go home. Drive. Okay. It was so funny, trust me. Like on site, on site, yeah, this guy was on the ladder. He almost slipped. And when he was falling, the only thing he could remember was his pound o. <laughs> That can be true. That is not true. You're messing That's with true. me. You're messing with me. <laughs> hmm. This is good, this is good. You should, you should. Easy, easy, easy. Mmm. Nice, isn't it? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> what? You know, I can believe that you have this good sense of humor. And then to think that you were acting that way on the first day, being unfriendly. Why were you acting that way? Why were you being unfriendly? Nothing, I wasn't. Nothing? Nothing. So, okay, so wait, you just saw my face and then you hated me? No, I didn't hate you. No, I... <laughs> okay, that's not it. Then what? It's just that... You know what? Never mind. I mind. I mind. So say, tell me. Okay. Please don't get offended. Offended? Mm. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Tell me. Say it. Are you sure? I'm sure. Just say it. Okay. Well, I thought you were like your brother. Like my brother? Oh, you don't like my brother. No, no, no. no I, I didn't say that. I just feel kind of awkward about how he treats his wife. I mean, I know it's not in my place and I'm supposed to mind my business. But I used to admire them so much, so. I know, I understand. You're a fan of the couple goals. Mm. So you feel disappointed. But no marriage is perfect. You know, I just hope that they, you know, get to, you know, solve the differences. Yeah. So you were judging me. We 
without even getting to know me first. I'm sorry. Like, that's so unfair. I'm like sorry. that's unfair. I'm, you know I'm that. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I've learned to so judge people so quickly. <laughs> But honestly, it wasn't my fault. It was fault. Even that day on the phone, I heard you. You were just so rude. On the phone. Uh huh. On the phone. On the phone. Remember? Oh, that day. Yeah, that day. <laughs> I was I was talking to my ex. All right. So she cheated on me, and then she called. She said she wanted to come back. Sorry yeah. to hear that. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. I'm over it. <laughs> I blocked her. Oh, that's harsh. Ah, I did. <laughs> I don't like drama. Oh. <laughs> Good uh, afternoon. Oh, bro. I just want to sleep. My love. Are you sure? I'm sorry. Um. Um. Baby. Stop. Stop. Um, um, good night. Hmm? Good night, my love. You mean you did that to him? Uh huh. Before Uncle. <laughs> Girl. Yeah. You mean to see his face? He was moody all day. <laughs> Girl, you get mine, Sha. <laughs> well, let's just say I'm dishing out a taste of his own medicine to him. It really needs to realize it's been hurting me all this while. So, do you think this is actually going to work? I don't know. But that's why I started this whole boutique thing. Okay. I'm happy you started something. You know, it's easier to disrespect someone who has nothing to fall back on. True. And I'm tired of folding up and crying. I decided to take the bull by its on. So how long do you think you'll keep up with this? <sighs> Until you understand that he's been hurting me and makes amend. Babe, this is risky though. You know men, they can't dish what they take, especially disrespect. Are you serious? Oh, really? But women can't, right? Huh? Hmm. I'm not saying that. But please, just be careful. So this doesn't fall back on you. I know. I'm just taking the risk. I love my husband so much. So if doing this will make him treat me better, why not? Kill. But please, I'm begging you, just be careful. Be extremely careful, please. <laughs> Thank you. I got you. I know. <laughs> Alpha now, that um, stuff he sent to me the other day, did you get them? Which one? The designer bag, the one you... My love. You see why I love you so much? Like, <laughs> your talk and do. You're not like... Oh, <laughs>
Good evening. Good evening. Um, I'm I'm about to see a movie, and I wanted to ask if you would love to join me. Uh, I I don't. You're know. done with today, aren't you? Yes, I am, but I don't think it's a very good idea. I mean, what will my boss think? Everyone is retired to bed. Besides, it's in my room. In your room? Yes. Oh, no, no, no. I mean no harm. Uh, well, if you're not comfortable with doing it in my room, we can probably do it here in your room. Do it. Do oh. <laughs> <laughs> mind me, I'm just putting your legs. I, 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 yes, I know. I just, I mean, do the. Uh, I said, do. I mean, the movie. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, um, what do you say? Okay, um, just go. I'll sneak into your room later. Sneak? Come on. You don't have to sneak into my room. Besides, I don't think my brother would have a problem with the both of us getting along. <laughs> Come on, we're adults. You don't think he'll mind? I mean, I'm his help. And so? We're friends. Besides, it's just a movie we're seeing. <laughs> All right. Um, since you're not comfortable, I will go see the movie alone. All right. All right. Thank you. I would uh, go. David, wait yeah. for me. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like for you to make me something, something, you know, something I can just pick and chew on, you know, before I step out. Okay, sir. Not much. As long as it's spicy, I'm fine. Okay, sir. Thank you. Bro. Hey. You're living without your wife? Absolutely not. <laughs> she would be here any moment from now. Oh, I'm just waiting for her. How about you? You're off the site. Well, um, I have a lot to supervise. So um, I need to go quickly so I can attend to them. But, brother, I wish I could attend with you. Please know it's been a long time. I have witnessed you, you know, do your thing live. Like, hi, my name is Alex, and this is all blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> the host with the most. The host with the most. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I have a show coming up. A, a brand new show, actually. Oh. Wednesday. So if you're free for Wednesday. Okay. You know, we're good to go. Okay. Then I think I should get a ticket for two. Who's coming to dinner with you? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Dave? <laughs> I see you're bringing a lady friend this time. Yeah, yeah. A friend? Mm. No. Oi. Which Oi? The same one you know, bro. No, that's the only one I know. Yeah, that one. David. <laughs> what? Friends. No. No, 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 no. What is going on in my house? I Now I understand why you're in the kitchen all the time. What is going on? I beg, I beg, I beg. Give me joy. Don't, don't break this thing. It's not your business. No, it is my business. You're in my house and then she's my place. Listen, I need to know what... I want to know what's going on. I got to know. I need to know. Bro, bro. Bro, calm down. All right? There's nothing going on there. No, it's just that. I like her. Mm. She's... Um, 
she's smart and you know she's cool oh yeah she's cool yeah. she looks like she's from a home home you know that's far-fetched in this generation you don't have a lot of people with moral values and tell you, about you know what i'm talking about i know i know she, what you're talking about she she looks like she's from a home she's cool yeah i'm happy for you man <laughs> i'm happy for you what so this has been going on and i didn't know hey, about brother. it <laughs> the host with the most right aha and see who's here my darling wife hello mademoiselle mm, i have been waiting on you but guess what i'd like for you to tell me how i look Whew, i have a feeling i look like something off a of gq magazine you know <laughs> that's what mm, i'm saying tell me how does your husband look i look i look good right um, not bad, but Dave here has a better fashion sense than you. Dave, you need to give your brother some nice fashion tips, you know. Baby, hmm? my love. I'll just go up and get ready and just change up and calm down, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bye, Dave. Uh, See you now. Um, brother, I'm, I'm running late, so I gotta get going. Yeah. Amanda, what is the meaning of? That stupid display out there. What's, what was that about? And what did I do? You know, something is obviously wrong with you. Do you need help? Now, have you lost your mind? This is you talk to me. Anyhow, you know, you talk to me, anyhow, you humiliated me in front of everyone. Amanda, that's what I'm talking about. Baby, come on, you're overreacting. You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Stop it. You must have some nerves. To think that I am going to live with such level of insults in my house. Listen, let me tell you something, madam. The next time, the next time you try something like that, I am going to give you a reaction that you will not be able to handle. But why? Alex. You don't like how we made you feel, right? Hmm? You felt embarrassed and humiliated. That's exactly how you have been making me feel. Yes. And now you know what it is for your partner to demean you. No. Hmm. No, I have no idea what you're talking about. Amanda, this is different. I have never s spoken to you that way. I have never talked down on you like that before. Never, ever. You insulted me. Not only did you insult me, you did it in the presence of my kid brother. The help, Amanda, in front of our help. What gods? Exactly the same thing you've been doing to me. Alex, you belittle me with the way you talk to me. Yes, you disregard my feelings and tell me I'm taking things too personal. How? Hold on, what? So you did this on purpose? Amanda, did you do this to me on purpose? Ah, <laughs> ah, you, <laughs> ah, you chose to humiliate me in my own house on purpose, but I have news for you. Listen, I am still the man of this house. I am the one wearing the pants in this house. I am the man of the house and clearly, we are not going to have two captains in this ship. For this, I will deal with you. 
Is everything okay between you two? I'm good, David. Doesn't look that way to me. About yesterday, why did you act that way? Like, I mean, this is unlike of you. You've never disrespected my brother before. So what happened? Your brother turned me into this person. Um, I'm off. You, you did it? Fit. How are you? I'm fine. You're good? You, 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 can, you can sit down and um, enjoy the meal with me, yeah? Honestly, I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling again in this house. You know what? Just, um, you, 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 you can just... No, please excuse me. My daughter is getting out of hand. I am telling you the honest truth. A lot has changed with her. She no longer respects me. She talks to me anyhow, you know? She... I'm calm. What I am saying is that Amanda is out of control, I am afraid. Yes, she is. Okay. That's okay. Please. Yes, please. Don't forget to speak with her. Thank you. Come in. Thank you, ma. Thank you. You didn't have to call her, you know? Why not? I had to report her to her mother. Brother, your wife has never behaved like this before. I personally think that maybe you should have found out from her what's wrong with her. I personally think that she do not know that Amanda has gotten out of hand. She has grown wings, but unfortunately you can't see it. Would you believe that I told her what to do? about the move to set up a boutique. You know, she carries on doing what she's doing and one will think that as her husband, I never told her what to do. <laughs> but you see what she's doing? She has grown wings. 
She is beginning to question my authority in my own house and I am not going to take it. Well, don't you think that you are the one turning her into this? Like, think about it, brother. David, are you blaming me for someone else's bad behavior? No. Oh. Are you? What are you doing? Are you justifying her bad behavior? Is that what you're doing? No. All I'm saying is that there's a reason she changed. There is and no maybe reason. you are not. There is no reason for a woman to disrespect her husband. Amanda has grown wings. I am going to cut her wings. I don't know what is going on with her. I don't know what's in her head, but it's going to leave her head very soon. Brother, I think you need to calm down. Is that why you're here? Yes. No. Alex, mm. you reported me to my mom? Yes, that is because you're losing your mind and someone has to call you to order. Oh, really? Yes. You know what? I'm going to also report you to her. And what are you going to be reporting me for? Everything I've been tolerating from you all this while. <laughs> <laughs> you know you're going to be making a fool of yourself because your mother understands exactly how it works. She knows how she respected her husband, your father. And my dad respected her equally. Uh, Madam, come and sit down. It's time for IG Live. Get in here. <sighs> Alex, you know what? I'm not in the right frame of mind for this. Uh, Madam, you have 10 minutes. Come Can't on. You're lying about me. Why would I tell them you are? Whatever. Come and tell these people here whatever. I'm waiting for you. Amanda. Yeah, so get this. Oh my <laughs> got you. God. You got me. <laughs> I've I have really missed you around here. Oh. No. Oh. I wish you had no off days. It's just a day. Don't be selfish now. <laughs> well, one day felt like one week. Mm. And yes, I want to be selfish with you. Uh, my boyfriend would not like to hear that. Boyfriend? You, you didn't tell me you have a boyfriend. Uh, well, you never asked. Uh, yeah, yes, yes, I guess. Uh, I guess I never asked. Mm -hmm. Welcome, anyway. I was just feeling your legs. <laughs> just feeling your legs. So you <laughs> don't have a boyfriend? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you know, I I feel like my heart was gonna stop. I like you. A lot. Well, it's because of you I resumed early. I missed you.
That's the part. The host with the most. <laughs> I want to host my wife upstairs. What's happening upstairs? I Please. I refuse to be hosted upstairs. They're making me shy. I don't like that. Stop. Let's go upstairs so that they can hear you scream. Oh. <laughs> Guys, yeah, I should take it easy now. Some of us, our husbands are not here and we are jealous. Yes, so. Uh, uh, please, please, we know your husband <clears throat> traveled. Don't worry. Soon you're gonna get some. So <laughs> <laughs> now it's my day, okay? Yes, it is your day, but I can't wait for my husband to come back. I have plenty of things I have planned out for him. What? Like, I am <laughs> going to roll it. Twist it, wind it. Ah. Oh, don't let me think about it. I want to do to him. Say. <laughs> you know, you should borrow your friend here some of that flexibility. Oh, yes. Yeah. So in the bedroom, she's just like a dead log of gold. <laughs> she's just lying <laughs> there. She's stiff. You know, your friend likes it missionary style. <clears throat> day in, day out. Uh, missionary all year long. I'm tired. I'm bored. I'm the only one who brings excitement into the bedroom. Uh, so she could use some of those lessons. <laughs> Coming from someone who has to see me dressed in different professions so he could get erect. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Baby. Cheers. Animal. I'm done. Baby. 
What? Please. I don't want you to go. Please, we can fix this. Please. No, there's nothing to fix. I'm done. I'm tired. I'm getting a divorce. Alex, you're joking, right? How does this look like a joke to you, Amanda? You have humiliated me in the worst way possible, and you call it a joke? No, I'm not joking. I would not do this with you anymore, Amanda. I love you, right? That's okay. But that's not enough. Love has never been enough. Alex. Just a taste of your own medicine. You want out. Alex. What? Really? Just a taste of your own medicine. And you want out. Alex, I feed you little, just little of what you've been feeding me and you vomit. Alex, I have been swallowing it all. Oh, yes. Me? Yes. I've been swallowing it all, even though it's bitter. Even though it hurts my stomach, I have been swallowing it. I've been taking your disrespect and humiliation and I'm tired. <laughs> yes. I, I know I went overboard today. <laughs> That's because I'm tired, Alex. I'm tired of being disrespected by you. I've been shouting and telling you I can't take your disrespect anymore, but you don't listen. You don't want to hear me. Now, you want a divorce? Hell no. Before you treat someone unfair, ask yourself, if you're that person, how would you feel? How would you feel, Alex? You know what your problem is? I'll tell you. You have refused to accept and understand that you and I can never be equals. Now that is something that my mother understood very well. And it made her marriage with my father not only beautiful, but perfect God. until their unfortunate death. That is something you don't have. Alex, we are partners. We are supposed to respect each other, You Alex. are supposed to be my wife and stay in your lane. You get divorce papers from my lawyers tomorrow. I will not sign it, Alex. I'm not signing it. This marriage is for better or for worse. Alex, I'm not your mother. I am not your mother. I am your wife. And there's no divorce in this marriage. Oh, God. Alex, please, no. <laughs> they say love is kind, love is patient, but I don't think you got the memo. Tears fall like raindrops. See the pain I behind the smile. We're picture perfect, mm -hmm. but you. Good morning, sir. Breakfast is ready. Good morning, ma. Food is ready. I'm not hungry.
I warned you against this. I knew it was going to blow up on your face. Joe, I've destroyed my marriage with my own hands. I've lost my husband. You shouldn't have done what you did. But then he pushed you to this point. So both of you are at fault. But he is there blinded by his own flaws. It's okay. Oh no, no. I don't want to lose my husband. I don't want to lose him. I love him so much. I love him. That's why I endured all these things in the first place. I don't want to lose Alex. I love him. Oh my God, please. Babe, calm down. You need to get a hold of yourself. In as much as what I'm going to say, you might not like to hear it. But if that man goes ahead with a divorce, then he never truly loved you. He pushed you to this point.
God, please. Please, God, take care of my marriage. Please. God, please, I don't want to lose my husband. I don't want to lose him. I don't want to lose Alex. I'm tired. This is not what I envisioned. The day I went on my knees and asked you to marry me. I have come to realize that I have been in the wrong and I didn't even know it. Amanda, I am sorry. I didn't know any better. I thought that what I was doing was the best way to be in charge, to be a man, to take control. I didn't realize that I was hurting you. I did not know the effect of what I was doing. I didn't know how that affected you until now. My love. My love. I've waited so long for you to say this. <coughs> and I hid the fact that I had to make you with this long. I'm under you my life. I'm asking for your forgiveness. Give me another chance to prove to you that I can be a better man. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry I took the wrong path. I'm so sorry. No. Two wrongs don't make it right. I'm sorry, my I love. I am sorry. I am sorry. I have hurt your feelings in more ways than one, and I promise that I'll never disrespect you again. I am going to spend the rest of our lives loving, <sighs> respecting, <laughs> giving myself to the times that we have together. I am going to cherish you, Amanda, for the rest of my life. And if sometimes my anger gets the best of me and I forget myself and disrespect you, baby, please, be patient with me. I will come around and I will apologize to you genuinely. I love you so much. Even in all of my craziness, not for once did I stop loving you. I love you. I love you so much, my baby. I love you too. I never stopped you ever. No. Football. You're silly. Did I do so? You are silly. You are very silly. No, very no, silly, oh, man. So this is real. <laughs> like, so you guys are not getting divorced anymore. What? You told him? You told him. No? Like seriously? Your voices were loud. And I couldn't even get from my room. You close your ears. <laughs> <laughs> like for real, your voices your were loud. Voice. Oh, yeah. What's the problem? Nothing, sir. Hey, what is it? Nothing. Well, um, Oi was going to resign. Um, she overheard her voices uh, that night and she couldn't stand it. it broke her heart. Mm. So she's an ardent follower of a couple of girls. 
Oh. Oh. I know. Oi, I. Listen, listen. Go well, sorry. Okay? I understand how you feel. First off, let me start by saying that we're well, sorry. Yeah. We're well, honestly sorry. I mean, you're, you're not just a symbol, but you're also a proper representation of people out there who look up to us. Those who have fallen in love with our love. Mm -hmm. And those who just want um, our love story to, to be complete. But you see, we are not infallible as a people. We do not exist without our imperfections. And sometimes our imperfections just get in the way and life then happens. But I'll stop here so that you can believe and trust that we are genuinely sorry. Hmm? Please forgive us. Guys, we are not getting it. Boss. Far from it. No, we're not. No, we're, we're not. We, we, we're here forever. Well, we are still resigning anyways. What? Yeah. Uh, it'll be awkward for my girlfriend to still be working here. Girlfriend? girlfriend? Yeah, girlfriend. Oye is my girlfriend now. And I'm looking forward uh, to getting a better job. Wow. <laughs> hey, young man. Oye is a very good girl. <laughs> you have to promise me that you take good care of her, please. What, what, what are you trying to say? That I'm not a good boy. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. No, but, but I'm gonna slow down, but I think I like the love <laughs> chemistry going on. Where's my ring light? <laughs> Let me get my ring light. <laughs> I will put a ring light here. You know, it beats me how daddy and mommy had a very beautiful marriage. Yet I am struggling with mine. You know, your marriage was so beautiful, you know? I don't get it. I admire our parents. I've always wanted my marriage to, to be exactly like the Vyas, you know, like, you know, you, you know how it was. So, Why am I struggling with Amanda? So you think they had a lovely marriage? Of course they did. <laughs> Wait, what are you talking about? They had, they had, they had a perfect marriage. Well, you were in a boarding house and not home, except for holidays. So you don't know. I don't know, I don't know what. Our parents' marriage was not lovely. Yeah. It, it, it all looked perfect because mom tolerated that nonsense. Disrespect and complaints. She took everything normal. Took everything. Normal. Yeah. It's normal. Yeah. It is normal. Isn't it? I mean, I thought it was normal. What's not normal about it? What are you talking about? Mom cried most of the night. She wasn't happy. She would cry herself to sleep. And wake up in the morning Maxing herself, a face in a pain. And anytime I asked her, she would, she would tell me that a pickle of dust got into her eyes. Oh, a pickle of dust got into my eyes. Oh, this, oh, that, and that. And I knew she was lying because I could see through those lies. But always she would tell me, do not tell anyone. Promise me, do not tell anyone. She was just pretending to be happy.
I love this hot one that I didn't know. Why didn't she speak up? If she felt disrespect in, in her marriage, why did she not stop the disrespect? Why did she not confront dad about it? You know, had that been the case, I would not be running my marriage with the belief, you know, with, with the belief that our parents had a perfect marriage. And I, I have always modeled my character after dad's character. You know, I saw him as the perfect husband, the perfect dad, a leader, the one in charge, the one in control. The one who mom never questioned. You get? I know. But if she was struggling with that method, she should have just talked about it. I understand. And I just maybe I would not have been this way. Ha. Huh. Well, she did everything for us. She did everything so it would not affect us. Because she didn't want the marriage to split. <laughs> see, all the time I see her, I ask her when she, when she cries. She keeps promising me, don't tell anyone, don't tell anyone. You could see that she was sad. And you didn't tell me. Come on, mate. Ah, come on, brother. How is it that I... I have been so ignorant? Baby. It's okay. No, it's not okay. I mean... I don't want to believe that my mother lived her life in pain. Just because she refused to speak up. Why did she not speak out? Why? Hey, don't blame her. Maybe she did speak up, but your dad was unrepentant. <laughs> and I'm sure she didn't want a divorce. And so she decided to endure pain and insults and and disrespect. And now see what has see what has happened. Her baby boy has been influenced the wrong way. To think that life is about bullying your partner and disrespecting them because you feel that that gives you control. See how that almost destroyed our marriage just because she refused to speak out. Baby. <sighs> A lot of people are enjoying pain in marriage, mm -mm. both male and female. And it's just terrible. And they're enjoying because of their children. No. Life is too short to be endured. That's wrong, and that's why I tell you all the time that I feel that the dead appreciates, understands, and values life more than the living. You know, while you're here alive, you're constantly confused as to what to do with yourself, if to leave. Along the lines of your personal views and how you see life and how you sincerely feel it. You know, the world is constantly looking for who to twist in its direction. But the problem, though, is that the world does not even know what it wants. So you find that you're not going to let yourself get old. And probably when you're in your 70s and then your life is flashing through your eyes and then you realize that you could have just done right by yourself. You know, so I don't like it when I hear that people are yet to pick a stance and live by their ideals as they understand it and say they are enduring marriage because of their children. Those kids are going to grow up True. and have more sense than you and live a life that you never lived. Now I'm an example. I am blessed to have you. <laughs> so I'm living a better life that my mother chose to live. Baby. Because I am blessed with a woman who spoke out. Now I'm a better man for it. It's okay. I got you. I know, baby. 
thank you for the wisdom that you have brought into this marriage. <laughs> I thank you for holding my hand and not letting me go. I love you so much. You see why I say you're my gift? <laughs> I love you. You're my special blessing. Thank you. I don't want to do marriage if it's not with you. I love you, baby. I love you more. <laughs> my baby. Hello. Hey. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Oh my God, you look beautiful <laughs> as always. Yeah, I'll be a billionaire if I get paid for every time you compliment me. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, then I want you to become a billionaire. Oh, so okay. you look pretty. I love the white on you. Thank I you. I love the black. Thank you. I love everything. <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I got good news. Yes. We got a job. No. You're joking. Are you joking? I'm serious. <laughs> you gotta oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. No, 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 no. No, don't cry. Uh, cry, baby. <laughs> you don't have to cry. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh. You came into my life and made it all better. I'm really so blessed to have you. I am equally blessed to have you. And I'm really going to miss you so much. I hate that you have to travel back. I know, I know. But the project where I was supposed to do is done. So... I know. But I don't want you to leave. I mean, relocate here, move here, move to this town. Your brother is here after all. Yeah, I know, okay? I know my brother is here, but trust me, Abuja is way more fun. Okay, there's no hold up, there's no traffic, you know, all the stress and everything in Lagos. Um, it's not like that in Abuja, but you know what I do? Oh. I am going to make sure that we get to visit each other frequently. How about that? Okay. How about that? You promise? I cross my heart. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, so, um, I was thinking maybe I come spend the night with you today since you're living in the morning. Oh, uh, is this a deja vu? Uh, deja vu, right? Deja vu? Deja vu? <laughs> oh my God. I was actually thinking about the same thing. I was going to ask you, but I didn't know how you were going to feel about it. But since you asked, why not? <laughs> I would love to. I'd love to. <laughs> I would like to have you. Okay. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> okay, um, you, you, you gotta right. say it right. <laughs> uh, Stop looking at me, <laughs> cutting. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You are my biggest fan, baby. Mm -hmm. mm. I made your favorite. You did? Yes. So do you want to eat now or you want to freshen up? I think I want to eat first. <laughs> right? Okay. <laughs> All right. Woo! Yes, baby. Let's see what we have. Yeah. Do you want me to help you do that? It's okay, baby. I got this. So, what do we have here? Yes. Baby. We're 
having a child. Yes, baby. We're having a baby. <laughs> I know, right? What? Yeah. God, I'm so happy. I know. Thank you. Thank you. This is everything, baby. This, this is everything. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My baby. Okay. Hi. For the real food? No. <laughs> Why? I thought you said you were hungry. I thought I was hungry, but... This is everything. It's such a blessing. Such a blessing. <laughs> I love we're having a baby. Um, so guys, we decided to share that with you because we've chosen to be true and to be genuine. Right. Yes. And as you all know, marriage, um, realistically, isn't smooth all the time. You know, sometimes, you know, it comes with its rough edges. And that's because we're different people from different backgrounds, and different mindsets and different understanding of situations. You know, so that comes to play when you interface with your partner and sometimes it just gets a bit bumpy, but you know, we're here now and we're fine. We're fine. <laughs> <laughs> and the ability to scale through this barrier is what makes it a beautiful marriage, right? Absolutely, baby. And thank you all so much for sticking with us. You know? <laughs> thank you so much. We thank appreciate you. the comments, the likes, everything means a lot. <laughs> and thanks for staying with us. We love you guys so much. Yeah. Until we come your way again on the next episode of Couple Goals. With the attacks. With the attacks. Bye. Stay blessed. Love it. <laughs> mm, love you, Thank baby. you. I love you more. <laughs> Bye, Bye, guys. <laughs>